from uh, Calabria, the University of Calabria, at Arcavacata. Did I pronounce it? Did I pronounce it correctly? I yeah. Okay, I pronounced it correctly, and so I, I get some points on that. <laughs> uh, uh, Giuseppe De Bartolo is uh, a man of many parts. Uh, he has uh, relatives in Chicago. He is connected with the Chicago uh, uh, Calabrese community, which is uh, the strongest regional group that participates at Casa Italia. Uh, some of you might have attended the uh, Festa di uh, San Francesco di Paola, which uh, attracts up to 5,000 people uh, every second Sunday in August. So mark that on your calendar. Uh, he is uh, also a demographer, an economist. Uh, he has uh, participated in the American, what used to be called the American Italian Historical Association. And uh, we are blessed today to have three former presidents, uh, Mary Jo Bonos, a, a former president of the American Italian Historical Association, Fred Gardafe, and uh, uh, yours truly. Uh, if, and if you're interested in Italian American studies, keep that, that phrase in mind, the American Italian Historical Association has changed its name to the Italian American Studies Association. And our, our next speaker, Giuseppe Bartolo, has participated in some of our conferences. And uh, San in San Francisco, no less. And uh, we are, uh, we're pleased to welcome him back. He's uh, welcomed uh, us on a number of occasions in uh, in Italy, and he's a, a great contact uh, for all of us to have in uh, Calabria. Giuseppe? Well, 
Cosenza, Pierre Cart, Mariano Marchesar, Mariano Principal, Rende, San Fili, Castro Libra, Cerisari. Or Italian and Calabrese Liga de la Estese, the first wave of overseas emigration, you know. This is a, a graph that uh, give an idea the, uh, how strong was the expatriation from Italy in the period 1876, 1950, 1915, before the World War I. Also, yeah, there is some picture. And we come from Aira, Aira. Hey, this is a chart that give a good idea the ex emigration by region in Italy. You, you see, there are two periods before nine, 1900 and uh, uh, from the beginning of the century until the, the First World War. Uh, uh, you can see that the, in the south the emigration uh, uh, grows very, very, very fast from Calabria. Uh, there are more than two, uh, almost three thousand people, and in the other period, uh, or, or, or six, six thousand, six hundred thousand people. So the the south of Italy grow, the immigration from South Italy began to have more importance than, than the north of Italy, the, from Piemonte, from uh, 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 Friuli, Venezia, Giulia, Venice, uh, uh, etc. Well, the, in these graphs, we can have the uh, an idea, more clear idea about the distribution of the expatriates, expatriates from the different regions. And you find Calabria was one, you know, not more, not more important in that period. But if you see the other graphs, you know, the Calabria has more importance in the in the context of emigration from outside Italy. So, in after the World War II, almost half a million of the people from Calabria emigrates in all over the world, in Europe, in the United States, and also in Canada, in Australia, in Venezuela, in Venezuela. Uh, you, you, you have, uh, in order to have an idea of the, the, uh, the importance, you, uh, and Calabria has all two million of people, 40, uh, uh, less than half a million in every experience. Oh. The immigration in the United States from the beginning to the end of the parable of emigration was five million of the people. It was in importance the, the second emigration flows after Germany and so on. Now Italy from, uh, as an immigration camp. Before it was an immigration camp, now it's an immigration camp. This is after the, 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 the 60s, the 70s. You know, now we have a, a great problem about the illegal immigration from the south, the Mediterranean area, to Calabria is the land, the first land they arrive. Each day they arrive the boat with the illegal immigrants. And we have in Italy a great, in Calabria in Italy, a great problem to, to welcome these people. You know, there are many. Also the, the law now is restricted. You, you, and 
you understand, uh, uh, people that came uh, in, uh, as illegal immigrants as uh, could be to the jail because uh, uh, the law, actual, uh, the actual, actual law, and we are changing the law now. Eh? Oh, this is a, a map that will give an idea where, from where they come, from the south in Africa, also Egypt, the other part, and also from East Europe. We have many Romanian, many Ukrainians, Russian, uh, Polish, and but the community more important now is the Romanian, Albanians also. And now in Italy, you know, number of legal foreigners are, and you have to add the illegal foreigners, <laughs> you know, five, five million people is an estimate. The eight point percent of the population of Italy, you know, Italy is a, 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 um, now um, a, a country of immigration, multicultural and multiracial immigration country. From um, the main state in the north, the, state, the south less because uh, the south is uh, uh, less developed. Or oh, the origins from Europe, from Romania, and Ukraine, Russia, uh, from Yugoslavia, in time Yugoslavia, and less from Africa, from Morocco, also. Oh, but uh, you have to understand that the Italian community in the world is uh, more important also. There are 60 million uh, the, the Italian immigrants of the descendants abroad, another Italy outside Italy. But the, the Italian the data, the data report in the report of Italians in the world in the, the last report, the very last, in the, was published a uh, few, few weeks ago. Uh, on January 1st, there are 4 million of people that are Italian citizens outside the country. Uh, 7.4% of the 16 million of the people. They, in, in, in America, the percentage is 40. 0.1% more are living in Europe and less in Oceania and Africa. The largest communities in, in Argentina and uh, Germany, Switzerland, France, Brazil, United States, there are 223 uh, residents, 1,000 residents. Oh, uh, the analysis according to the, the provincial region abroad, I like the prominence of the region of South Italy, with exception of Rome, in the ranking of Italian province there are Cosenza, with more than 152,000 people outside Agrigento, Salerno, Napoli. Argentina is the first country of emigration from Calabria, but followed by Germany, Switzerland, France, Canada, and then at, at, at the seventh place, the United States, with 17, more than 17 residents, 70,000 residents. All also in Calabria, all according to the population register uh, that collect the, the, the people who are resident outside. The, the country, but uh, are Italian citizen. In the top uh, uh, 25 municipalities, the first four uh, places are Corigliano Calabro, La Mezzia Terme, Corigliano Calabro is in the province of Cosenza, 
la vecchia in Provence of Catantaro, Reggio Calabria, San Giovanni in Fiore is in the province of Cosenza. Now, we are having the Calabrese immigration to Chicago and a biographic profile. That's our topic we, 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 of this paper. After the immigration after the World War II was different from the past. The immigrants stayed long abroad than before. Many planned to stay out forever. The birds of the passages they, they, well, they disappeared, and there was a great gender balance of immigrants of lived with entire, entire family. Disappeared the topic of illiterate immigrants. At least the immigrants after the World War II, they have the elementary license. No. Um, immigrants were called by a relative who was arrested in the United States. Oh, this model can be caught by the, the qualitative service, a survey made on a sample of Calabrese, who after the World War II have experienced emigration to Chicago. Oh, this is the sample. We interview 47 people from the different, the different city of the origin. Castro Libero, this the, the, the country of the origin of Senatore Furano. Uh, there were many, 20, 40, 44%, and so on. Many of the respondents have a parental ties between them. Most of them live in, or are still living in Chicago. The sample was divided in two parts, one part the person who moved from Chicago to stay definitively at the city of origin to spend the, the rest of their life with the pension, etc. And other part of the same was the people who still live in Chicago. Uh, and they came or still living or came from uh, Chicago, Ireland Park, Wilbrook, Caesar, etc. Et oh, this is uh, the, on this picture you can see the age of uh, the, 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 the departure gear and also the age at departure. As you can see, there are no people that moved after 40 years of age. From five to four, don't get people not too old as before. Once uh, arrived in Chicago, this uh, is the came from uh, the, the the interviews. Once arrived in Chicago, most of them stay in the limited circle of relatives and neighbors because of the language, language barrier. Uh, for the people emigrate at the school age or in their early childhood, this difficult very much more temperate. Also, most women before emigration were housewives or support their family in the agricultural work. Once in Chicago, they stayed, started a more skilled work, and in some cases were they were receiving awards or promotions. The work of the men was different from that made in Italy. Many of them often found work as labor in industrial establishment. But uh, we can capture the full meaning of immigration chain with this, this symbol. In fact, many have found working company where relatives of Paisan were already occupied, who often, often helped in them in fact that kind of work. Some worked in a typography, in, in, the, same, in the same typography in, the, in these samples. Immigrants after several years of employment 
decide to start with their own business, often in the context of the trade, or in partnership with other relatives. From all the interviews, you can see they decide to get out of the poverty, left in the Italy, thanks to opportunity that America, America Social gave them. Another, another trade that emerges in the, in the strong sense was the strong sense of community, but also they have great nostalgia. Nostalgia to come to Italy, to come to Italy. The country of the region, they said to rebuild for themselves and their son a new life in Italy with the savings and with the pension of the United States. But they, most of them, had the American citizenship. At this regard, we underline that, that, uh, that time when they emigrate, the, the welfare at that time left on edge many categories, artisan and farmers, and of course, I support, have, have no social security at the time they emigrate for which the, the immigration approach was to work in the United States, obtain retirement pension, and then return to spend their old age in Italy. Although many of them remained in the United States because uh, the, 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 the intermediate had been established overseas, uh, the relationship, marriage, children, children, and so on. This is a case of my father. I was, uh, and uh, an immigrant also in the 60s. Uh, 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 my father was in Chicago, uh, uh, moved in Chicago uh, in the 50s, stayed uh, 15 uh, years, and uh, I visited him for two years in the United States. I worked in Chicago at Calder Insurance Company for two years, but I moved back then to Italy because uh, there, there, there were some many reasons. First, the post office. I mean, uh, to uh, govern, I was, uh, I, I had a, a bachelor degree, I was teaching in Italy, then when I came here, I worked in the Canadian Assurance, but uh, when I'm back, I continue to, to teach, then I went to the I had the opportunity to go to the university and uh, where I made my career. I, uh, and I, at the end, I, I was dean of the Faculty of Economics. So, um, but anyway, this for me was an opportunity. Without my parents coming to Chicago, I, maybe I was not here now. Okay. <laughs> um, so, and this is the questionnaire. You know, the questionnaire, there are many, many questions. And uh, I, I begin to communicate the, the entire paper.
talking about repatriation of immigrants, those people who went back. And often, of course, in immigration, they often immigrated and went back and forth. Are there Italian statistics that shed light into this? And the second question I have, uh, I guess, is from my uh, arithmetic ignorance. Why 47? But he may have to put it by Senate. It was by chance because uh, uh, in we used the mouth to mouth. Yeah, I know that you understand. That. It's correct. Mouth to mouth, passa parola. You know, we first of all we uh, we see where they. Immigration came strong, and uh, they, with Passa Parola, we found these villages. In the other villages, we we went to, but the, the, we, the, 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 the figures was not important. And they um, also um, the propensity to 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 be interviewed was not uh, so uh, easy. So we found this area. But I think that this area was, is the, the most important area of emigration to Chicago from the, after the World War II. Uh, before, we are, we are also the people, but uh, in, uh, after World War II, is, I think, in the pro at least in the province of the Cossacks, it was the, the strongest area from emigration, by chain emigration. Uh, okay. the, other, the other question? Uh, 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 repatriation. Yeah, there are, there are the repatriation. I, I didn't uh, show the, uh, uh, the repatriation, <coughs> but there are, but it was not so important because many people remain in the United States. We have time just for one more question before we move to our next speaker. Quick question. Every graph I've ever seen of emigration from Europe shows a huge spike in 1907, whether it's Italy to America, Europe to America. What happened in 1907 that accounts for such a statistical spike in the uh, Immigration. He's not understanding. Perché? Perché? Mm. Perché è stata in quel modo? Allora, there are many, many, many reasons. Uh, there, there was the possibility of to uh, go outside the country. The, the, the facilities to emigrate to the United States without restrictions. Also, also, there was uh, the uh, uh, it was easy to with the boat because the cost of the the the, uh, the fare was uh, uh, it's cheaper cheapest. than before. That that is it. But after the the there were the difficult because the restriction of the United States in, in, in literal in literacy act and etc etc et but that was the period the best period for many reasons also the the, 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 the crisis of Italian economy right. but that's the golden age uh, that's the Olympian era 
But the demographic inflation was high. It was a demographic inflation, and also the south of Italy was not developed. Yeah, not developed. You you see that after the unity of Italy, you know, the little intersection of Italy, the south of Italy was, was was destroyed by the unity, by the unity. But but you have to to know that uh, that industrial system was uh, not uh, strong, was not, uh, was obsolete. We, in the south, we have the Ferriera of Monciana. Uh, Ferriera is the metallurgy of Monciana. Metallurgy? Metallurgy. And with the Bourbons were uh, very important, but it was obsolete was outside of the economy. When uh, we are with the unity, the, the, the market became larger, so the metallurgy of the south uh, went down and, and finished. But with many reasons, the pressure and demo demographic pressure are also the economy of the south was not, uh, was not good. As to that, yeah, anyway. Grazie. Grazie. Grazie.